Hello everyone, this is Saad and we are back with an amazing video. In this video, you can see a simple progress bar that I have and I've written some list of my daily task. So you can see a simple progress bar here, but as I start checking towards my daily task, it will show us a progress automatically in terms of percentage. And as I complete through all of my tasks, it will start increasing the progress bar and ultimately get to the 100%. So this is a very unique and interesting video. So stay with me till the end. Now we will completely start from the scratch. And first of all, I'll right click on the desktop and create my Excel worksheet. And I'll name it as task sheet. Let's open it now and let's write here list of my tasks. Now I can increase the size of it. I can centralize it. I can increase the text size and I can even change the color of it. This is the first step. Now to create the checklist, I need a developer tab, but when you open the Excel normally, you don't see the developer tab because you have to enable it. Now it's very simple to enable it. It doesn't matter in which menu you are, just go in any white space you can see here, right click and click on customize the ribbon. When you click on customize the ribbon on the right hand side, you can see the developer tab but it will be unchecked. You just need to check it and click on OK. After that, you will be able to see the developer tab. Now I'll click on insert and here we have multiple options. I'll click on checkbox form control. So click on it. So as you can see that the cursor sign has changed, that means it is a draw button. I'll just click anywhere and now yeah, I can extract the size of it and you can fit it in any cell you want. Let's increase the size of the rows. I'll select multiple rows. You can select it from here. Just increase the size a little bit. Now let's fit it more here. Now let's write, let's example, instead of checkbox one, I'll write my first task for the day is exercise. And I need similar tasks like that. So what I'll do is I will select the first task and all the other cells where I want the multiple tasks. I'll not insert it every time and adjust the cells. I'll just select the range and press control D. So it will copy it in all the other cells as well. Now let's write task two for the day. Let's say And similarly, I'll write some couple of more tasks, change the name of the existing task and change it to whatever I want. So on and so forth. So I'll delete the other a task which I don't want from here just select this select the cell with right click and then click on delete now similarly you can create as many tasks as you want so there is no problem or limit to it you can create as many tasks as you want now I need to function it like this that if I tick it it will show the progress if I untick it it should reduce the progress so how will we relate that let's see now what I'll do is I'll attach it with a link of a cell because as you can see that whatever I've inserted from the developer tab was not the part of the cell. We have already adjusted it within a cell, but it's still not part of it. I need to right click on that particular task list and click on format control. And now I will link it to a cell. 
let's say this one just adjacent to it is D4 so let's select this and click OK now the cells are linked now if I click anywhere else the selection will uh, finish from here now if I check it it will show true and if I uncheck it it will show false and that is what we require exactly to make our formula or our progress bar work now similarly I'll do it for all the other cells let me just do it quickly and fast forward this process so now I have linked all of the cells let's see the result if I check these it will show true if I uncheck these it will change it to false so that's perfect now I'll compile the result in a table I'll create a new table and the table name will be one name is true one name is false one is total and one will be percentage so if you cannot see all the contents within a cell just select all the columns and double click anywhere between the two columns so it will automatically adjust the size or you can manually adjust the size if you are not comfortable with the automatic adjustment now here I will insert a formula that equals to count if that means it should count only if the cell result is true so I'll select the whole column so that it will not move even if I need to drag it down although I don't need to but still the column selection is always suitable and out of this range I need to count only which is true so I'll select the criteria as 2 and click OK now as I change it to check boxes it will start counting the true results now if I want to move it towards right I will fix the column select the column press F4 to fix it in its position and the criteria cell should move to the next one as well uh, the column will be same but the cell should move so I didn't fix the criteria if you don't know about the fixing thing you can just apply manually to the second column as well now in the third column I'll just sum it so sum both of these enter so total is 6 now let's extract the percentage now now I'll write equals to true divided by total and press enter so only true will increase the progress right so obviously if it is false it will reduce true so I only need to extract the percentage of any one now this percentage I need to change it to the percentage sign just go to the home tab select the cell and click on percentage so you can see that as I complete my tasks it will automatically complete the percentage if I am done with task 1 17% complete 33% 50% workshop 67% 83% and now 100% now let's simply select both of these cells and now the process is very simple to insert the chart we just need to insert the chart now click on insert and now I'll click on this 2d column I'll click on 2d bar because it is in horizontal form so just select any of these you can change it to any format you want let's say black one and now let's name it as progress bar now let's reduce the height so that it will look in proper form now as I can see that the total percentage goes up to 120% so I need to reduce this to only 100% so what I'll do is I'll right click on this percentages make sure that it is selected first so I'll click on format X's now and for the minimum it is set to 0 but for maximum it should not be 120% it should be limited to 1 that is 100% so just close this now 
Now the units I'll change it to from point 0.1 to point 0.2 and close. Now we can see that 0, 20, 40, 60, 80 and 100. So this is ideal. Now you can also do one thing as well. Uh, just select this bar and right click and you can add data labels. So it shows here uh, the percentage as well. So let's now see. Now if I want this data label to come inside this bar, I can do that as well. What I'll do is I'll just double click and you can select label position inside the base or inside end if you want to see it on the right hand side and just close it. If you want to further format it like bold, I can make it from here. Now our progress bar is now complete. You can place it anywhere you want to see the progress. You can even hide these cells because that is the internal what we need. So you need to see the progress only based on what we check here, right? So let's test now. Working perfectly. So I hope you find this amazing trick useful. And if you do, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel because in this channel, we will share most amazing techniques to work smartly on computer, not only on Excel, but all the other courses we have. And that includes all of these courses that you can see on our website as well. Link is in the description. So you will learn all the amazing tricks and techniques to work on all of these softwares, which I have mentioned here. And if you are interested to buy any of these full courses, just click on that icon and it will take you to the Udemy course that you can get at the best price possible. So this is Saad signing off. See you in the next video.